Training to failure. That's a hot topic, right? That's a hot, hot topic. And I would love to know someone who is, you know, where you're at with your longevity. Like we're talking about, you've been doing this for a long time and you're at, again, I keep saying this, but it's just, it, it, it's a nice ring to it, man. Nine time pro natural bodybuilding world champion. Talk about that because I think, yeah, of course it's, it's uh, everyone's going to have different views on it, where it fits into some, into, into training. Like, how do you like to fit that into your training? And, and do you train to failure? Like all out I mean, effort. I, I feel like training to failure is, it depends on what the individual failure is. So for me, it's every set, every rep, I go until I can't go anymore. I don't mm. see what's the purpose of lifting a weight if you could stop still having more in the tank. What I don't get it. I just don't get the purpose of it. So every set, every session, every exercise, it's I go until my body's like, okay, this is it. Look, I can't pull anymore. I can't push anymore. For me, that's failure. You know what I mean? It's literally when I can't go anymore. I never understood, you know, I've heard guys said, oh, you know, I've always stopped with a few left in the tank. Why? I, I never get it. Why? You know, if you're in the gym to push your body to as far as you could push it safely and you know if you could push another four or five reps why wouldn't you and this goes back to this ties into what we're saying about comfortability because you know what pushing those extra four or five reps is going to hurt you're going to be sore tomorrow oh i don't want to be sore, sore tomorrow so let me just stop here then this may not be the sport for you you know what i mean like you it, it comes with the turf you know you have to embrace it people think that you know bodybuilding is this luxurious thing it's not it's not you know it's pain it's hurt it's blood sweat and tears there's going to be some days when i feel like absolute shit but i'm going to go in and i'm going to produce i'm going to push whatever that means i'm going to push till i can't push anymore maybe i can't push as hard today as i pushed yesterday or the week before but i'm still going to push as hard as i can and i always tell people the only bad workout is one that didn't happen so even if you had to, you know, go a little bit lighter this week, I hear guys go, I had a bad workout. No, you didn't because you still went. So the only bad workout is the one that didn't happen. As long as you get in there and you, 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 your body's in motion, you're doing something, even in your head that you know that, you know what? This is not the best me. This is not the best version of me. But what you're still saying is, you know what? I am not going to quit just because I don't feel like it today. I am going to go in there and I'm going to give it all I've got. And for me, on those days, I don't walk out of there with my head hang low because I know that there are days when I go in there and absolutely fuck shit up. So you know what? I'm going to wait until one of those days when I'm going to use that to fuel one of those days where I'm in there fucking shit up. I'm going to remember, oh, yeah, last week I didn't feel so great. I got to get two more reps now because now I'm feeling it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not a sport of comfortability. And that's why people misconstrue bodybuilding with. They think it's something that you're com it, you should be comfortable. If you're in the gym working out and you're just working out to work out and you know you feel like, oh, I, I got eight reps, I'm going to stop here. Okay, great. That's on you. To each their own. But if you're in a sport and you're, you're training with a purpose, I don't get why you would stop when you could do more. I just, I never got that method of training. You're moving some heavy loads. We talked about this briefly last time. That is a big thing, especially for natural bodybuilders. They admire the people who are lifting lots of load. And usually it's power lifters, but power lifters are not, they don't look like bodybuilders, a lot of them. And you're still lifting heavy loads just in a specific range that makes sense for bodybuilding. Is that right?